Hi, my name's Dylan Osteroff. I'm your 2016 club champion. Um, 17 race expert and pro in Steel City Riders, uh, junior in CMRC. Uh, I ride KX450 and uh, YZ250. Back in 2014, first year on a big bike, I finished uh, third in pro and one expert that year and uh, decided to take the year off uh, following and just see what I can do to improve myself and come back stronger for the next year. 2015, took the year off from Steel City, did some AMO racing, um, wanted to try out Transcan for the first time and that went well. Ended up getting third in the Junior C class, um, or Junior B. 2016 wasn't really going for the championship. Thought I'd just uh, take the year to improve and see how I do and Come Moto Park, I realized that I was in the points running and decided to step up my game and see what I can do. And ended up finishing out the season on a high note. So, home track's always been the club track. Uh, I live 10 minutes from it and uh, find myself there a lot actually practicing. Um, it's definitely taught me how to trust my tires and how to ride on the edge of slip. But when I was on a 65, the club track was like a goat trail, it was one lined. Not much passing, but over the years they made it wider, um, started making better corners, bigger jumps, you know, just really making it like a motocross track. I've always had a love for Yamaha, but uh, back on small bikes I was riding Cowies and decided to take another look at the Cowie for the new bike I picked up. And uh, I got to ride it like pretty much every bike you could imagine. and. Uh, Really liked the Cowie and the Yamaha, so uh, it came down to price, and I knew I couldn't afford both of them new, so I started looking around for the best used deal and came up on this Cowie, which uh, couldn't pass up on, so picked that up at Moto Park, and that was my first time riding it. First ride on it was all right. Um, I, t I handled it a lot better than I thought I would, but uh, the power was new to me. I didn't think it be that crazy. So I was feeling pretty good on the 450 for only taking it out for a couple motos, yeah, but I uh, still wanted to race with the 250, so um, first two races went well. Me and Tyler had some crazy battles. Um, we were back and forth for both those races and just edged me out. I felt comfortable on the 450, but uh, not too comfortable, so I decided to race a 250 for the first couple of races and realized that just didn't have it down the straightaways. Tyler's 450 was pulling a bit harder. So, listened to all my friends and my dad and took out the 450 and crashed in the whole shot corner with the pressure, but whatever, got back up, finished the race. I think I got a third, but it really built my confidence and uh, went out for all the other races, just looking to win and set out what I wanted to do. There was this one sweeping corner, high speed, and it was really my only chance I could get Tyler on the track. So I just really practiced that hard every moto. And uh, coming, out on, coming out on the 450, I was hitting it a bit too hard. Uh, the burn blew out the lap before and the next lap came around and just spun her out. But kept my hand on the clutch, got up as fast as I could and just kept motoring. The 250 and 450 are actually very similar. Um, really the main difference is the power, obviously going from one to the other, but both of them corner similarly and uh, they, they stay pretty straight. So that's that's what I like. Um, I've never really been fond on a hard turning bike, but uh, these, these bikes suit me well. Don't really have a preference over which bike I prefer. Um, they both have their pros and cons, but all in all, if I had the choice, I'd, I'd be riding both as much as I can. Can't really choose one, one over the other. People ask me why I chose the number 46, and I just tell them it was what was available. You know, I wanted number 24, but someone else had that, so I uh, took 46 and ran it ever since. Next year, I'll still be running the number 46, but I might throw a one in front of it for CMRC and AMO. Plans for next year, um, definitely do some more Steel City and uh, some of the AMO local races. Um, 
depending on how I feel and depending on how my fitness is, I may do the Go for Dunes Pro National. May try and qualify for that. See uh, see how that goes. But uh, basically, just want to get some more seat time. Maybe do some more uh, ammo races. Um, I'll probably primarily be riding the this 250 next year. Um, I'll, I'll definitely put hours on the 450, but probably only during practice to uh, switch it up a bit. Um, this bike's for sale, so I won't be riding that, but uh, this one I'll be racing. I love Steel City because it's a family-oriented atmosphere, and uh, everyone in the club just treats you like family, and uh, they're willing to help, willing to pick you up off the ground, and uh, you just don't see that anywhere else, so huge shout out to them. Thanks to Steel City and everyone involved, and uh, thanks to Tyler Horvath for uh, roosting me this whole year. Um, definitely got the welts to show for it. It was a lot of fun battling with everyone this year, you know, Tyler Horvath, Tyler Hine, Chris Holland. Those guys kept me on my toes, especially when Hine got the 450, you know, he really stepped up his game then and uh, really saw improvements, but uh, probably had the best battles with Horvath at Moto Park there. Um, that, was, that was some fun racing. Never really raced like that before. My mom and dad, they've, they've been behind me through my whole motocross career and I couldn't thank them enough for everything they've done. Um, you know, my dad, he's, he's really pushed me the whole time and I don't think I'd be at where I am without him, you know, like, Every, like before every like uh, gate drop, he's always just telling me what to do, what to focus on, like uh, de-stressing me, just letting me go out and ride, you know, and, and that's the main thing, you just got to go out and ride. You can't think about anything, just leave everything behind as soon as that gate drops. Huge thanks to everyone at Steel City. Um, you guys are the best. I'll, uh, I'll see you next year.